I am here in DeSoto, uh, Missouri, with uh, two awesome ladies that got Infinity Matrix stem cells, what, about six, seven months ago? September. September. Or September the 13th. Six months for ago. For the first one, and then I got the second one, December the 13th. Oh, okay, okay, awesome. Now, uh, on the left here is Lorraine Aker, and on the right, Valerie Eads. Now, Lorraine, I'm going to be so rude, because you do not look your age. Will you please tell everyone how old you are? I'm 96. <gasps> You're even a year older than yeah. when I last yeah. was here. You've had a birthday. Yeah. I've had a birthday. Yeah, I'm 96. You genuinely look like you're in your 70s. You just well, blow you. me away. So anyway, so praise God. As I've always said, it doesn't matter how old or young you are. Uh, Infinity Matrix. All right. Lorraine, before you received Infinity Matrix, can you kind of give me a feel as to what all you were dealing with health-wise? Well, I have a shortness of breath. I have macular degeneration. And when I go for an eye exam, with my right eye is the worst eye for a long time period of time, I could not see anything at all on the eye chart. Wow. And then finally I could see the, the light. After I got the stem cell injection, uh, the first time I was there, after the injection, I could see the E. I could tell it was an E, but I, but it was fuzzy. But now, the last time, the last two times I went, the right eye is a, a sharp, e, the E is sharp and clear, and I could see one letter below the E. And then with the left eye, it's much clearer, and I could see the E and one line below and one letter on the third line oh, since wow. the injection. Uh, wow. So and so you're talking about really your last injection was only three December months ago. The 13th. Yeah. So yeah. just roughly a month ago and so you're just getting into the range where they say you're gonna begin to see things. So yeah. I bet your vision was like number one for you. Well, yes, I was hoping they'd clear up right away. Yeah, but uh, but it, they're still working. They're still working. Yeah. Yeah, and uh, now it's more stable. Good. From from shot, I go every eight weeks for a shot, in one eye or the other. And when it was about time to go for a shot, time to go for a shot, uh, uh, things would be, you know, I could tell that <coughs> I was having trouble seeing things around here. And now it's stable. I don't notice it getting more dim or having trouble finding something in the drawer when I'm cooking a meal. Oh, that's good. I can find things in the drawer where my cooking utensils are more easily now than I could for a while. Oh. Yeah. How close together were your eye injections before the stem cells? You well, they've been eight weeks all for a long time. At first, they were four weeks whenever I first got it. That was a long time. And then it was spread out to six weeks. But it's been eight weeks for a long time. I didn't think you went to eight weeks until after the first no, stem cell. No, no. it was before no, that? No, it was, I was, I, was, okay. I was doing eight weeks before the stem cell. Okay. okay. All right. Anything else that you've seen on your side? Well, this... How about Paul? trips to Paul's birthday? All right. Uh, before the stem cell injection, was it Alabama? We went to Alabama in the Florence. car mm -hmm. to her daughter's, and that trip liked to kill me. It was just about more than I could handle. It took me a week to get over it. It was four and, hours and 20 minutes. Okay. And that's a four hour and 20 minute drive. Okay. Then in De when was it December we went to Paul's one day. Yes. In December we went to Paul's after the injections this last December. That was a six hour drive. Six and a half. <laughs> six and a half hour drive up there and I didn't even get tired. Whoa. The car, so no, your energy I was, level has... I was yeah. And yeah. then and and we were there two two days or something and came back and the next day I didn't notice any difference. I I you know, I just blowing it. I, I wasn't worn out from the trip. That's wonderful. That's that's so important. And for someone of your age, mm -hmm. that is a huge statement. Yeah. Wow. Awesome. Uh, Valerie, is there anything else that you've seen in your mom that... Uh... Her breathing had got very labored, gotten very labored. She'd seen a pulmonologist and they just said, 
She doesn't have the lung capacity she used to have. Mm -hmm. And she still labors with her breathing, but it's half as bad. And it was noticeable immediately. Was she on oxygen? No, no, no I've never, never been was. On okay. No, I've okay. never been on And her skin looks better. Good. Her skin looks very much better, especially I noticed it in her face. I can't so. see that. <laughs> <laughs> awesome. Well, that's wonderful. How about yourself? You did uh, Infinity Matrix as well. I did, and I have a cheat sheet here. Well, that's that I fine. Keep because you all call from time to time. <laughs> <laughs> I wanted to add. Okay. Um, when I got the material, you know, the material they gave you. Mm -hmm. Okay, I read through all of that material two times, and there are some pain tablets and some medications that you're not supposed to take after you get the stem cell. And I have not taken any of those medication. Oh, that's fabulous. And that might be something that some people didn't read the material and, and because they said it would destroy the stem cell. Mm -hmm. For instance, they work against they, they work against them and yeah. That NyQuil and DayQuil is the people take that for a cold and I've got some in there, mm -hmm. but there's something in the NyQuil and the DayQuil that you're not supposed to take after you've had the stem mm -hmm. cell. Mm -hmm. So last time I had a cold, I just stuck to Airborne because Airborne is just mostly vitamins. Well, good. Awesome. All right. So now, Valerie. Okay, I, I, have the, I had osteopenia and it got moved over to osteoporosis. And I don't know if that's fixed or not, but I know that... Um, a day after I got this, I was awakened in the early morning hours and my legs were twitching and it felt like I was having growing pains. Oh my! Got up the next morning and I would keep my knees bent. Like if I stood with my knees down straight, it just was uncomfortable. <clears throat> well, it's not anymore because whatever happened in my legs, I, I can stand up straight from my knees down and there's no issue. Wow. I have not had a bone density test, so I don't know if everything's better, but something was fixed because I felt it happen. Awesome. So That's a neat experience. Um, and I would say that some people who don't notice what's going on may have issues in their body they're not aware of. I had started doing a foot detox at um, a place in Festus and the reading that came out every time was major inflammation mm -hmm. and I have asthma and so uh, I noticed after I did the foot detox and the asthma was targeted that I could walk up an incline and I didn't run out of breath. Oh that's strong. Yeah. But I bought a detox machine myself instead of continuing to pay for that and do it about once a week but since I had the stem cell shot, it has never once come up as inflammation. Not Interesting. once. Yeah, Interesting. Yeah, I, I have other things that come up. Mm -hmm. You know, mm -hmm. joints detoxing, liver detoxing, but never the color for inflammation. And I still have asthma. I used a rescue inhaler today because of all the allergies. Uh, but it's springtime. It yeah. is, but I can go months and months and months and not need to use my inhaler and the regular three medicine inhaler i used to use every day i, I don't have to have that anymore oh that's exciting that's yeah exciting. it's very exciting um i feel like my breathing's freer and easier mm -hmm. um i let's see what else do i have here oh i have more bladder control i've had four babies mm -hmm. it's just an old lady thing <laughs> and you don't look old either. <laughs> well, I'm 69. I'll be 70 in June. Oh, my gosh. But you passed that down to her, didn't you? Yeah, I, guess. <laughs> I guess. Well, one of those things is my skin also looks better. Mm -hmm. And But it didn't look good before the stem cell. I mean, I looked like I had the skin of a 90-year-old woman. My arms were flabby. You could. My grandson would push up in my skin and you go, you have elephant skin. Oh, uh, <laughs> and you can still push it up, but not like it was. It's And my daughter looks at my face and she says, your skin is so much better. And wow. it really is. That's wonderful. So I think the stem cells caused my collagen to start working, mm -hmm. possibly. Oh, good. And it wasn't working before, but that's a huge difference. Um, I 
He used to take sulfurzyme, which is a form of MSM, because if I didn't take it, my joints would hurt. Mm -hmm. And um, so I quit taking it just to see. And I could go three, four, or five weeks and never have to take it. I could not miss a day before. And um, so my joints- Great improvement. Yeah. yeah, yeah, my joints are much better. Okay. And I haven't taken sulfurzyme for months and have been okay. Yeah. And, and then for a while, I would have some um, muscle pain in my right groin and I would take the sulfurzyme, it would stop it. But I haven't even had that happen in a very long time. Isn't that so, cool how you're seeing little by little, little things it, that they it is working. They are increasing better, yeah. yes. Mm -hmm. right. As they're rebuilding and regenerating different parts. Um, I go to a gym. Oh, another one. Excuse I need to have another one. Go ahead. For a couple of days, I had a dizzy buzz in my brain, like I'd had too much sugar. But I take a product called glucose metabolic support because I have low blood sugar. It would drop and then I would be exhausted. And that keeps my blood sugar steady. Mm -hmm. And it just works for me. But I had a couple days in a row, I just had this sugar buzz like I'd eaten too much sugar, I know what that feels like. And the only thing I could think of is, do I not need to take the glucose metabolic support? <laughs> so I quit taking it for a long time. And I'm sorry, I didn't turn my phone off. <laughs> um, you want to mute it and cut it? Well, here it is. I'm really sorry. That's all right. It's my son. I don't know. Let me just turn it off. Um, and anyway, so, so I went a yeah. long time without taking it and I didn't have any more buzzes. Now, I still take it occasionally if I wake up and I'm tired in the uh -huh. morning, but it's not something that I seem to need But you're not needing as it on much. a daily basis. No, I'm yeah. not. Oh, I got shingles in um, oh, 2018 and it was like on the right side of my head. It was in my scalp on my forehead, it didn't get in my eye, but it was on my eyelid and in my eyelashes. And after that was healed, my nerve endings were just not the same. Mm. I mean, my mm. forehead felt mm -hmm. like cardboard. I did a lot of acupuncture treatments that helped that, but I would still have itching. So I just had this terrible mm -hmm. itching in my scalp, and my eye would itch, and my eyebrow would itch. After I got the stem cell shot, I have not had the itching. Oh, that's wonderful. Yeah, my right eye still bothers me from time to time. The eyeball itself or the... I think it's the lid. Okay. okay. And and I think... And that could be an allergy related thing. It could be. Yeah. And I also think the shingles gave me dry eye. So, because I have dry eye and I didn't used to have it. So I mm -hmm. use drops all the time. Okay. And if I have a problem with my eye, usually the drops take care of it. But I think... What causes it is that in my eyelid, those nerve endings aren't exactly healed yet, but these on my scalp seem to be, but they weren't wow. until I had the stem cell shot. Fabulous. Um, so I think that's you pretty have, much. You've had kind of a little smorgasbord of a lot of little different things. Yeah. Now, Mom, you were going to say something. On okay. Their show. We both go once a month and get acupuncture. And I, uh, I get acupuncture for cystitis. I, I don't know, cystitis is an inflamed bladder mm -hmm. and you just can't stay out of the bathroom, you can't do anything. And so with me, acupuncture has put that on remission or something, it's on hold. Anyhow, it's like I don't even have it. So once a month, if nothing is bothering me, I get maintenance with acupuncture and maintenance takes care of a hundred or more different things. So that has also helped. And the first day after we got the first aqua, uh, first stem cell, we went the next day and got acupuncture and that just speeded up the stem cell because acupuncture, the way they explained it to me when I first started getting it, I used to have a lot of back problems, a lot of knee problems and the acupuncture got rid of that. And 
Anyway, they said that we have healing antibodies in our body and all the acupuncture does is make them activate them and make them do what they're supposed to do in the first place. Which means it would be walk hand in hand with the stem yeah, cells. It just, yes, exactly. Because it, it, just, exactly. it just speeded up the stem cell. Now, if I remember correctly, after y'all came to the meeting, I think in September, uh, somewhere in there, the following month when I was back, I wanted to, because I was already hearing good reports on you, and so I called... And you were at the gym. I go to the gym <laughs> three days a week and work out. Th three days a week I go to the gym and work out. Yeah. 96 years old. Yeah, I was, that, I was at the gym example. when I talked to you on the phone. Yeah. Right? Yeah. I, I mean, what a high bar you're setting. Oh, my. <laughs> I think that's just awesome. You used to only do like 40 minutes every time. And you I used to do, do an hour now. Yeah, I used to just do 40 minutes at the gym, but now we do an hour. Okay. Yeah. That's a little bit on a lot of different yeah. things. Yeah. But that's, that just shows that you've got so much more energy and vitality and but strength. She has, she has strength and yeah. stamina she didn't yeah. have before. There's no way yeah. I could have taken her to her brother's. Uh, I would have refused to do it because she couldn't do it. Well, we were no. going to go up there once before, and you wouldn't take me because she was afraid I couldn't make the trip. Yeah. That right. was before the stem cell. Well, praise God you were able to. That's <laughs> yeah. awesome. Anything else that y'all would like to share real quick? If I, did I have anything on my list that I didn't mention? No, I think you've got everything. I, it's well, just... I think for early on, y'all are off to a grand start. And keep in mind that they're actively still building, regenerating, three and a half to four years. So you're on the, you're on the early side of everything. Yeah, right. Well, I feel like so. the acupuncture is helping us out. Because we get it once a month, regularly. Uh -huh. Well, I used to have. Yeah, would a, it be doing what has happened to you though without the stem? We cells? were yes. doing the acupuncture before before yeah. we got the stem cell. But you can tell a difference but, since but the you stem got it. cell. Yeah. Well, I talked to other people, and they're not getting the results that I'm getting. So I think the acupuncture is helping. Yeah. She she's a firm believer. I, I know. She, we can tell. Tuning, we can tell. Tuning, she's a teacher and she's yeah. tooting her horn here. Yeah. Listen, if I start getting a sore throat and I can get to Dr. Wright, he's got a light of some kind that he shines down in my in my throat and then puts some needles in my throat and uh, I won't lose my voice. Praise but God. she did yeah. not have the stamina. Her yeah. skin did not look good. Yeah. So we yeah. couldn't go on a long trip. Everything that we've said the stem cells have yeah. done. Yeah. And um and it's possible that the acupuncture we've gotten has worked enhanced. with it yes. and enhanced yeah. it's it. It's also a but, natural. But the stem cells, without them, these other things no, would not I, happen. Yeah. yeah. And stem well, cells, God if I him. had it to do over again, I'd still get the stem cell. Oh, absolutely. Well, you, you, yeah. well, you wouldn't have gone to your brother's for his birthday. I wouldn't have, get, I wouldn't have got to go to Paul's if I hadn't gotten the And we went cells. to Branson. Yeah, and yeah, we did. We went oh, wow. to Branson. I forgot about that. And it was no big deal for her. No big deal. No Praise big deal. God. It was a big deal before. Yeah. yeah. And um, I, I would say to somebody who's not seen so many results is you have problems in your body you don't know about. Yeah. And, and those things are being addressed. If I wasn't doing a foot detox, I would have not known about the massive inflammation. Yeah. It just wouldn't have registered with me. And if I wasn't still doing foot detox, I wouldn't know that a lot of that has been taken care of. And it yeah. didn't happen till after the stem cells. So I would say there are problems in your body that you have that you don't know about. And something terrible is not going to develop because it's being addressed. It's kind of like when I was diagnosed with breast cancer. Even though mine, uh, my dude, as I called it, only rated a zero. The doctor said I probably had it eight to ten years. Oh wow! Totally without knowledge, right. already in my body, and so we never know. No. Mm -hmm. So, but ladies, thank you for sharing your story today, and uh, I'm excited. Next time I'm down here, we'll just have to keep adding to it. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> it, it doesn't seem to quit working. It, no. It just seems things seem to improve over yeah. time. Praise God. Well, thank you so much. I really appreciate it.